Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one is of the Fire Hall Thrift. It's located in Woodbridge. The building is a former fire hall, thus the name. It is associated with a, is some sort of educational institute and part of the space is used for teaching. Um, I don't know about the details of what they actually do there other than the fact that the thrift store is located in the former fire uh, truck bay area so you see the roll up doors as, as they are there they're also on the other side so it was a drive through fire hall not a very old fire hall to, I must say come vicariously tour thrift stores and antique shops with Hawaiian shirt papa. So this is the image that they place on their business card and that's the experiential learning center and this is the entrance area. That's not the door to the to the thrift store. The thrift store is tucked into the corner there for the door. So these, these are the uh, three bays that they had for the fire trucks to exit. And inside, here we are. These, these are, some of these are stills at this point. This is a very interesting looking jug. And in a moment, you'll see how interesting a price it also had. As we rotate in and get a good view of it it's one dollar now it's not an antique I suspect it is a contemporary product here we are we've got some shoes some sporting goods looking for golf clubs I think they're reasonably priced as were some of these other sporting goods The, the building's good size. It's got a nice high ceiling, of course, because that's where the fire trucks were kept. Well, they've made a good use of the space. I have a feeling that part of the experiential learning is having some of the, I think they're high school level students, uh, come in and set up the displays and uh, clean a bit keep the place in order so you hear here you see something now body harness on honestly they do expire they're good for about 10 years so I had question whether you'd want to use it in a safety related manner there are other ways to use so uh, body harnesses it's more so the threads that, where they're sewn together fail so they had some CDs and DVDs there, and we're getting ceramics and other hard goods, whole sets of uh, plates. A lot of gift goods. Bit of artwork that was the back of that we saw. And like I said, they do some nice little vignettes and uh, keep the place in a nice condition. It was a little bit of a surprise as to where it's located. It's in the middle of a residential area. Just north of Highway 7. When I was there, there was some uh, water main or sewer main construction at an intersecting street it didn't affect the traffic where i was going into but uh, it's an interesting it's um uh, on the west side of the valley so i think that was kipling that's over there yeah you can check the map directly yourself for the fire hall sport for fire hall thrift store in Woodbridge. There 
aren't a lot of other thrift stores in Woodbridge that I happen to have come across. Uh, there's, if there are, then I'm sure you'll let me know, or I didn't consider it as being part of Woodbridge. I mean, there is a value village that's over by uh, Jane Street, so I suppose that's part of Woodbridge as well. But yeah, nice, nice place. Fairly quiet, not too busy. They've got the uh, cords are all neatly set up and fully accessible, not in a little plastic bag. I understand why the others do the plastic bags, but truly this is this is all you need. Just a little something to keep the cord neat, whether it's an elastic or it's a twist tie or something like a cord, it would all be okay. And they've got a, a significant amount of uh, gift kind of wear. And here we see the recorded media. Some of this waviness is from the stabilization. So it doesn't rock as much, but it can be disconcerting to some folks. But it's better than what we were doing before. Uh, back to the sporting goods. And they had quite a bit of interesting little bits and pieces for the sporting goods. They had tools here in this section, right by it. I was checking out some object here from the appearances. Oh, it was in a bin. So you see some if, some sort of lock in the box that says slage, but I'm not sure if that's the uh, that's the actual object inside. They bought one of that brand and then re put their former lock inside of that. And some of the electronics. There was a lot of ceramics and glassware, possibly some crystal as well. As I said, these are closer to being uh, giftware. Um, there's lots of it, plenty to pick from. Uh, you could do you can do quite well if you're trying to do some sort of uh, table setup uh, for display or or as, a, or as a vignette for something that you need at home. Are you just augmenting what you already have? There's probably something that'll fit for you in this location. There's there are some indications that I came across that this may be connected to the Mission Thrift group of stores but this is a different brand name uh, this, the labeling is very similar and one of the vehicles outside had a mission thrift indicator on it so yes the mission thrift is also one that uh, uh, caters to christian's education i wouldn't be surprised that was the case here as well that's uh, not to downplay it it's just so that you're up being up front and know what uh, charity it is that you're assisting. Yeah, so they've done a nice little thing. Um, keep in mind, this was done in the middle of summer, so having so those Christmas lights was being used for effect, not for the season. Nice collection of day-to-day -day items that you might need or want to have. There's glass vases of all sorts. And here's their business card that gives you the location. So, 
Hope you enjoyed watching. We'd appreciate if you give us a thumbs up, uh, maybe a mark on the bell so you get notified of the next video. And hope you can subscribe. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.